We've got Ryan Burns on the line from Gopher Illustrated breaking down Minnesota football with uh, about two weeks in the books during the spring sessions. If there's anything that's been counted upon in terms of name recognition, at least over the last few years, it's been the two headed monster of Rodney Smith and Shannon Brooks, even though Brooks missed about half the season last year. But that unfortunately won't be the case this year uh, for the Minnesota ground game. It won't be. Unfortunately, we got news right before spring ball that Shannon Brooks, again, someone that's been a very big contributor to the Gopher backfield throughout the last couple of years, will miss the season. He did have ACL surgery here just a week or two ago, so he will be out for the upcoming 2018 season. So when you look forward to this 2018 season, you lose Kobe McCrary, that three-headed monster that Minnesota had last year. You don't have Shannon Brooks, and you can't be putting all these carries on Rodney Smith, who's already a 2025 carry a game guy. So who are kind of the names that I'm watching? I think the top name on the roster right now that's participating in spring ball is redshirt freshman Mohamed Ibrahim, someone that once again was a part of the, one of the most legendary recruiting days in Minnesota history when P.J. Fleck got nine commitments, I believe, on a Friday night, and Mohamed was one of those. Now he has gone through spring ball. It's his first spring ball. He looks very confident and decisive as a runner. He's a north-south guy, not the biggest guy in the world, probably only 5'9", five, 5'10", five, but he is one that I'm watching to potentially get some of those carries to take and alleviate stress off Rodney Smith. And then I do believe that both true freshmen coming in and Nolan Edmonds and Bryce Williams are absolutely going to have their opportunity to play as true freshmen as well. Again, I know that this coaching staff is extremely high on both of those young men. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see some combination of Rodney Smith, Muhammad Ibrahim, and the potentially Nolan Edmonds or Bryce Williams as well. Ryan, we would be hard pressed to find a running back around college football that has uh, 626 carries in his career. Rodney Smith has been around a long time. And as you mentioned, he has toted the football about 225 times last year. And uh, there have been few that have carried the load like he has. And uh, he still has one more year, of course, at Minnesota. 